What is going on, people? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Top Tier Podcast. This is episode 68. Take two. So, well, no, this is actually legit, episode 68. Well, so yeah, last, last time, time so with the five-year episode was actually episode 67. Right. So that also means that next episode is episode 69. It's the Halloween episode. But it's also the Halloween episode. Right. So the themes are going to be all over the place. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Brendan. You can find me on the YouTubes at uh, youtube.com slash Factor. Um, you can find this podcast, youtube.com slash top tier podcast. With me today, we have Whitney the Siren Santos. Wow. <laughs> Lou Tixon. Hey, hey, hey. And uh, straight out of El Salvador and into the top tier podcast, Benjamin Espinoza. Hi, good evening. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, just bring it into the mic. Right. Here. Good yeah. evening. We gotta, we gotta, there we go. This is our first time it's using this, no man. Buenas noches. We need to. No, <laughs> yeah, it's new, no new, joke. New season. No joke. We, we had to. We were late to start the show because Ben was stuck at the border. I, I, I had border problems this <laughs> evening. Believe you it joke, or not. It uh, yeah. You can't yeah. write that shit. <laughs> well, you can, actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, um, I guess you could. I, I, could, I could talk more about that in a bit. Sure. Um. So this is uh this is the first podcast that we've done in our I guess this is top tier 2.0 new setup. What do you guys think? Microphones. So new mics. fancy. Uh, so you fancy. got the lights down there. Oh, sh- okay. shining at nothing. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, you know, I, I'll be honest. I feel I feel very bad because I mean, we all give Rattel crap, and many times I, you know, I, I've I've said jokingly awful things like, "Oh, this is ghetto," and this and that, <laughs> and you know, and and I go home and I'm just like, man, I'm I'm trash. I'm such <laughs> scum. Like like Rattel's putting in good work. Only he puts in money. Like. <laughs> He puts his heart and soul into it just to have some he punk come off the street and just trash <laughs> he on it. He took your words to heart. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is because of the comments <laughs> you made because years of you, ago. Dog. Ben, this is just for you. It's man. not even <laughs> for upgrading it's, sake. It's just no. because Ben said this, so you we got to do this now. No matter, yeah, I mean, MK Tulsi said some awful things, but, <laughs> Rita, you know, Rita hasn't gone on those job or anything, Like, but, you know, I come in... <laughs> Your nose is fine. And MK Toasty and others think it's, it's, it's I don't know <laughs> <laughs> something else. Anyways, um, there's but cameras, right? They can see this. They can, yeah, yeah. They so can we got see so them. we got a dual cam setup. So right. this isn't live stream, but I think I think I might I don't know maybe in the future we can live stream. Yeah. But the main point of not live streaming it was because we never fucking started on time. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. you got Ben stuck at the border, you know. Yeah. Um, but you know, I put a lot. Mm-hmm. I put a lot of time and thought into this space. Okay, it might not look like much, but this took me like a month. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, it looks great. It no really joke. It, it's yeah. not even just no. the. It's not even just like the the mm-hmm. exterior and the decor, but it's also just like everything like right here, like the dual cams, mm-hmm. like figuring out this like mm-hmm. how to best set the room up and like. I also wanted the space to be like versatile, so we can not only podcast here, but I could also do like. You know, I just did my whole Evil Within playthrough, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. from here, and it's still it's like very functional. I can stream. Very good playthrough. I've been watching. Thank it. you. Thank you. I was waiting. I'm like, Rattel, <laughs> can you hurry the fuck up and upload? I need to watch some more. What the fuck? <laughs> no, Whitney's my like big, waiting my biggest. <laughs> half my views come from Whitney. Because <laughs> yeah. I do just my wait. makeup and I'm watching Rattel like play, and I'm just like. It's a <laughs> <laughs> and the trick is the like the videos are an hour and a half long, so half those clicks are all Whitney because she can't watch it in one sitting. So she'll start watching it, then go watch yeah, it on something else. So, it so it's like you know, getting all those clicks. <laughs> Thanks for that. It's all me. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so it's it's good. Yeah, um, good. All right, perfect. It's, yeah, it's great. I like it. We're getting like, we're quickly getting respect. used to it. Yeah, this curtain. It's fancy. The yeah, curtain. It's well, the, like I didn't want to have the curtain. Oh, but there's a fucking closet there. Yeah, mm. but, you know, it's a nice yeah. touch. It's a nice touch. Like, right? and Chriselle is just like, you know, you know, my girlfriend Chriselle. She's like, oh, the red curtain is gonna be cheesy. I'm just like, oh, it's kind of the point. You know what I mean? I want it to. I don't think it's cheesy. Why I would it be I cheesy? I can see it in this uh, thing here. No. Doesn't look cheesy. doesn't look too no, cheesy. No, no, I think it's fine. No, I, I mean, I, I would have picked like a purple velvet, but oh <laughs> my goodness, <laughs> what <are> we, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn man, Prince had it figured out. No, it's great. It really does. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Um, so we're you know we're still getting into the swing of things. We're so used to doing things live and having a chat and having to like you know go off of that. Um, but uh, a, a few little bits of housekeeping I want to get out of the way. Um, so we have a Patreon set up. Um, so that's uh, Patreon.com/slash Top Tier Podcast linked in the video and all that shit. Um, so if you guys like the 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 content, the hours of you know free free podcasts and video podcasts that we put up. 
uh, patreon.com slash top tier podcast if you'd like to support us. Um, also, you know, based on like how we re- like, you know, record this. So we record, we record every two weeks. So right now we're recording one episode. And right after this, we're recording episode sixty nine. I gotta say, I'm gonna ruin the illusion. Dog. I know, no, I'm, but I'm, but you know, it's well, we gotta take that into consideration. You know, we, we want to be topical. You're gonna you know take it into consideration. Into consideration. <laughs> consideration. <laughs> so, no, no, into consideration. Why you got that? Yeah, out take that shit into consideration, dog. <laughs> Yo, why you hate <laughs> why gonna, hate my broken English? That now. <laughs> 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 the word consideration is gone from this my vocabulary. It's gonna be concerned now. It's pretty good. Take these kind of things into <laughs> concern. Yeah, well, uh, af- after the episode, look it up in uh, in Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <one day. laughs> you see my face? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody do it. Somebody make it. <laughs> Cause you, you can just go on in Urban Dictionary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Find yeah. anything there. Anyways, uh, so we announced that the podcast is back. The response has been really good. Um, a lot of people, you know, I opened up uh, the emails to, mm. you know, top tier podcast at gmail.com. Tons of people wrote in, which is kind of insane. A lot oh. of people are glad to see us back. So I'm going to go through a couple emails oh, cool, yeah, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah. right now. That's right. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> let's do it. Um, Legit, it's a nice setup. I, I like to think yeah, so. It is. It is a great setup. I'm proud of this, but dude, it just like even the camera angles and being able yeah. to fit everything in frame. I actually had to buy separate lenses to get to be able to oh, fit wow. everything because That's it crazy. wouldn't work otherwise. Actually, so before we go into viewer questions, oh, yeah, yeah. I got a question. What does where where does the money go for Patreon? Um, so right now it's just gonna accumulate in Patreon. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like I'm not even gonna touch it until mm-hmm. it's a uh, until it's an amount that that you know makes sense to divvy up. Right. Um, and and basically how I would think to do it. So we're recording. We record. Uh, Tw- every two weeks so that's mm-hmm. twice a month so basically if someone if w- one of you guys is on one of the shows you receive an eighth of that patreon money if you were on two other shows you receive two eighths or a quarter and then the the month kind of resets you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that make all well, makes sense sitting on like five dollars for sitting on five dollars for a few years <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna yeah, it's well i mean yeah right now it doesn't fucking matter because there's nothing in there <laughs> we're stuck so ahead of ourselves um so when we get paid to tell you gonna <laughs> <laughs> so Rital, when are we getting paid <laughs> you gotta take all this money stuff into concert <laughs> <laughs> you do you gotta take it into concert concert it's uh, i mean yeah i i didn't see that coming i thought we'd be not not that there's nothing anything wrong with this i thought maybe we'd Get upgrades or something. Well, I That's mean, what I was thinking too. Like the, the the first thing I would want to upgrade is the, are the cameras, right? Like the cameras, like mm-hmm. it, it's gonna look okay, yeah. But it could obviously look better. And that's definitely the the biggest like, you know, amount to invest. Like the cameras were probably the most expensive piece of equipment, mm-hmm. even with all the mics and the mixer and all that. It's like the camera's still way more expensive yeah. just for one of them. So I don't know, maybe somewhere down the line, but. Like, I, I was considering, like, oh, man, do I want to really sink that much money into it? We could be running, like, two DSLRs, but they're not really made for long mm. format recording. So, yeah. it's like, there's so much mm. things you got, like, there's a lot you got to consider. Yeah. 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 So, I don't know. Concerge? Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of things you got to concerge, man. Put yeah. into concerge. It's going to be like the title of this episode, episode concerge. 68, yeah. concerge. <laughs> <laughs> how, how would you spell that? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yes. yes. You do it, Sal. You that do. was not a yes or no question. <laughs> How do you spell that? All right. Yes. So you... As I go to a, as I go to a restaurant. <laughs> yes. Fries or salad? Yes, please. <laughs> I was like, what can I get you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you could start me with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Your questions then. Uh, I'll, I'll let you figure that. We're out. just yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna go into a, a, a couple here. Um, what is up, top tier? It's great to have you guys back. It's your boy, Hey Hachi. Hey Hachi. Hey Hachi. I miss you guys in my ear holes, and it's good to have you back. My simple question is this one: What has everyone been up to uh, in the three years between episodes? Hey Hachi, out. So we kind of—I don't want to echo too much what we said mm, on the five-year yeah. reunion yeah. episode, but what are right, since since then? What's been going on since Whitney? the reunion? Whitney, oh, I hear wow. I hear there's some developments in your professional life. Oh, hold up. Uh, Since the reunion. Since yeah. the reunion. So in the last so few weeks. Actually, oh, the last yeah. few weeks. Gotcha. Oh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Well, he said he's yeah. asking the last three years. Yeah. Right. But okay. we already talked okay. about that in our yeah. five so years. So we're going to say, hey, actually, go back and watch the previous yeah. five go year reunion episode. Like, five years. subscribe. We'll answer that question. Like, subscribe. Comments. We're on iTunes, by the way. <laughs> iTunes, podcast directories. You name it. Legit. Hit the button. 
It helps. I don't, know, yeah. I don't know the how. Button. I don't know how, but I started hitting buttons. <laughs> Make it. And I like to think someone's grateful out there. Thanks, man. Yeah. Are you, did you like? Yeah, I okay. always like. <laughs> I, t- I try to leave comments too. Uh, you never respond, but whatever. Oh my god. Ben. <laughs> you look at every single video, the only comment is Benjamin Espinosa <laughs> and then me. <laughs> Oh, that's too fucking good. Uh, Whitney, uh, what's what's uh, new with you? Just got hired at Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, tell, tell us about that. Doing I, I saw I saw Product that. Advisor. Hopefully, Ooh. become a game advisor. That's what I'm looking what for. What does that mean exactly? Uh, pretty much so when people come in. Well, for product advisor, it's like laptops and stuff like mm. that. I haven't started yet. I start on. Oh, Monday. so you're like at the like the Microsoft stores. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, okay, gotcha. Metro. Gotcha. Yeah, Metro Town. Okay. There you go, oh, yeah. folks. You know. Like wow, thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 know <laughs> she, you know where she works <laughs> now. So do you use for available uh, now to stock? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. I was like, get free tablets? No, you don't shit. just get free. Oh, I was wondering about that too. Hey, you don't just get free shit. You've been working at Nintendo. I got free shit <laughs> yeah, from there. Get free switches, Mario Odyssey. <laughs> I got another <laughs> Switch. Your Switch was free? Uh, well, the one Bear has, yeah. Well, you she sh- got two codes for Breath of the Wild. Well, she got I Destiny 2 for free. I did get Destiny, Destiny 2 for two free. She doesn't even work for them. She got one. <laughs> yeah, the guy came back, so I was nice to his kid. Yeah. Like, his family came by, and I was really nice. <clears throat> and So I saw you just got to be nice to kids. It, 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 it you got to be nice to people, Rattel. <laughs> Come on. It, it, it pays that's to be nice to the chids. It does. That's it too really much does. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to start at Microsoft. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Lou? Dope. Lou. Cool. Uh, man. Let me think. Let me think. <coughs> I'm doing a play next month. I guess, but that's what I've been yeah. working on. Mm-hmm. Is it one that I've seen or is it a new one? It's a new one. Nice. What's yeah, it yeah. called? It's called a Vancouver Goldusta. Oh. oh. It's, about like, it's about like an Indian family. I don't play an Indian guy. I play a Vietnamese dude, but <laughs> I live in their basement. That'd probably be more accurate. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's uh, exciting. So that, that's cool. I guess that, that's a new thing since... since the, yeah, the fun. That since that long it was ago. only like yeah. three weeks, maybe yeah. a month so, ago. Yeah. So, so yeah, I've just been working on that. That's nice. How you feel yeah. about it so far? Pretty good. Yeah. It's in a good place. I mean, like it's it's an interesting kind of subject. It's part of like this exhibit. Uh, it's called Memory Trauma in the History of Canada, and mm-hmm. it's part of like the Canada 150 thing. Uh, so it's just like stuff that happened here in Vancouver um, mm-hmm. during the 80s uh, that was related to stuff that was happening in India. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of protests and people killing and dying and. So it's kind yeah, of I don't even know about yeah, that history. I should, yeah. probably, go, I should yeah. probably go check this out for educational you know what, purposes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's funny because we, we actually, well, the cool thing is we actually have like real news clippings from that time mm-hmm. that are going to play oh, during so the show. Oh, my gosh. And uh, when I was, I was watching it, I was like, I've heard about this stuff. You know, like I heard about it. I don't know where. Maybe it might have been at school sometime, sure, like yeah. in social studies mm-hmm. at some point. But I remember hearing about this stuff and I was like, oh, wow. So do we get a history lesson? <laughs> well, nice. where, well, well, like where were you guys like? performing the place so it's going to be uh, a site specific show so it's going to be set mm-hmm. in a vancouver special which is if you guys don't know what a vancouver special is it's a type of house um that was made specifically uh as affordable living for like immigrants oh. um oh so like you've, you i'm sure you guys have seen them around they all look the same they're like pretty basic looking houses and they're all over vancouver mm-hmm. um so it'll be set in one of those wow yeah oh that's cool. how do you get tickets for that online okay oh. <laughs> Ben? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, not, 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 to, s- not, not to dive okay, too okay, deep, okay. Uh, but yeah, just, uh, what was it? Um, recent, I mean, back when I was in school, I found out about like the residential schools and uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure um, maybe you guys have heard of it, but just how like way back, like in the 80s and whatever, like the, uh, like the indigenous people, like native people of the land, like basically their cultures were like being taken away and destroyed like they're t- definitely like literally taking kids from their homes putting them in these schools and they were just like <coughs> being taught that like being aboriginal was wrong and just literally killing their culture this like is, this, this was this, in the 80s and i like i don't know the time exactly but yeah like 80s probably went up into the 90s like that's it was up. like, like it, it's yeah. pretty like it like it's recent that's what this whole truth and reconciliation is all about is just bringing to light like the wrongs that have been done to that to the indigenous people of the land and it's something so mind-blowing to me that it was something i didn't know until like three years ago and because there's you know there's always stereotypes in this like yeah, aber- yeah. you know indigenous people are drunks and they're lazy and this and that but you know part of that is because of this that happened to them where you know they grew up to be like messed up because you know they were 
abused like physically and sexually and of course emotionally and and you know like ripped away from their home so just so much wrong that's happened so again you mentioning this like this is something i have because you're saying it's like east indian people yeah, or yeah again that, like that's something i have no idea about and uh so again there's just like a lot of wrong that's happened out there and uh i mean that's something anyone who cares about history or indigenous people i mean uh yeah um what the what was it called uh residential schools you could look into that and uh find out the the ugliness about that but again it's uh, fucked up yeah it's yeah it's really it's really messed up um yeah my life uh not, <laughs> not as messed up <laughs> definitely not as messed up as that uh I, I'll, I'll backtrack a little because in uh last tuesday well tuesday of last week was two years of being uh of being married Woo-hoo! and uh happy anniversary though. yeah two weeks. thanks yeah. two years Two years, two years. Two last, weeks. Last week, last no, if it was two weeks, weeks ago, I think we would have heard about it. <laughs> uh, so, so, so I got married, and uh, and yeah, talk about border problems. So this is where it all roots from. Uh, so I, I married uh, an American girl. She's uh, she's a white girl, and uh, so <laughs> she's a white girl. She's a white girl. Think, uh, she's American will suffice. <laughs> well, but she's white. I mean, American American could still be Asian. It that's could true. be Latina. Yeah, she could she fair. could be anything. So I just got stressed that she's a white girl because that's where it's funny because we got married down in Utah. That's where family is, and so when we came up. Um, we had border problems and now we were expecting them because i had two other fr- like two other couples that i know that same situation like one of them's a canadian the other one's american so they had you know few hiccups here in the border but they were able to cross so uh, my wife and i we came completely prepared you know we we had documents we were uh, working on our permanent residence application so uh, to make the long story short we hit the border and they just told us that she was not able to cross, you know, that she could like, make the decision to just back out and uh, and come back another time. <clears throat> and when was this? This was this, was, this like... was literally just after we got married. So like a couple of days after we got married, we because we were driving, we um, uh, we, we went up like we we again, we drove up from Utah. We made a couple of stops along the way. <clears throat> but yeah, like maybe like five, not even five days after being married, uh, we hit the border and in hopes to, you know, live here. We already had a place that we were renting. Right, right. Um, I mean, the reasons they gave was because since she had been living here in BC for a while, but um, so but she didn't have a job at the time. I mean, she, she had a summer job. Um, there was a bunch of weird reasons that I, I'm still not sure about. Point is, obviously, we had things covered. I had a full-time job, sure. you know, like enough to, to, to meet our, our needs and whatnot. <clears throat> excuse me um but yeah so so they they didn't let her cross so you you can imagine how crappy that was because you know obviously we want to be together um so the first 10 months of our marriage uh we lived apart so she was down in the states i was living here and um so so again i mean that's that's the funny part because there was the white girl who got denied access to the border as soon as well, i heard that you guys had border problems i was like oh ben yeah <laughs> Right. What exactly. now, man? <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's what you think. But no, man. The the rules took. I mean, this is this is the twenty first century. Skip a beat. <laughs> the twenty oh, first century, man. <laughs> White people getting denied at the border. I guess. Into Canada. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, but so today we we just made we went made a trip down in the states, um, just just to buy some things and whatnot. And uh, so coming up, uh, every time we cross the border, that I guess she's flagged because they always ask us at the border. Um, why she was denied entry so we explain it they get on the phone you know then you know they wave us goodbye uh today i guess it was so busy no one answered what the were phone you guys doing down in the states just shopping oh, okay mm. uh damien also well she ordered, ordered a new phone and uh so we picked that up at the mailbox as well uh, okay and then yeah just a little a little things here and yeah i went to target because target's pretty dope <laughs> Um, we don't have targets up in Canada. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. We did. Yeah. Yeah. They fucked that up. Anyways, yeah. that's yeah. a whole yeah, yeah, other topic. topic on its own. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we, uh, so yeah, so again, I guess it was busy, and so we had to go inside, and that's why not that it matters to any of you, but that's why we started a little later today, because we were held up at the border. Things went. Rel- I mean, they went as smooth as they can possibly go. We just had to wait, which is a bit annoying. It sounds um, shitty. Does that like like discourage you guys from going down to the states now, or like? Well, she she has her PR now, so there's 
really no way to to really stop us. I mean, right. uh, like unless we're doing something illegal, which we're not. You know, they can't deny us entry. Uh, but it just your existence is illegal. <laughs> 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 but 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 definitely but, but but definitely was before we had the PR card. Even though she was legally here, like it was just like she knew like we weren't risking it like going yeah, to yeah. and even again and, um like and she didn't come up here like i'd always go down to the states while we were living apart every month or every month i'd go visit her um but again i'd go down there she wouldn't come up just for risk of you know sure. having to to go through that again of being denied entry so uh yeah it's very annoying and again it's annoying like i was mentioning to you guys earlier but uh walking in there and just seeing Apparently they're too busy to pick up the phone, but when we walk in there, there's like people just chilling, having their coffee, and uh, I don't know if it's their break or what's going and this on. This is like at the border, right? The yeah. other people who work there. Or yeah. Like the... So we're, I mean, not 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 when you like drive through, right, but like right, right. actually going you into have to, the like, border. Yeah. yeah. And you know, it's just like okay. I mean, I'm not in such a big rush. It's not urgent, but at the same time, it's just. I'm, dude. I'm telling you, anyone who works in like for the government or whatever, and they don't like, it's not like. They work there. They they work with people, right? Mm -hmm. They're like you know, but you're not. It's not like it's a business where you're a customer, right? Yeah. They're like you know, they work for the government, right? So I went, I like, I went and got my passport renewed. This is like three years ago, mm -hmm. but they're so fucking rude, and they don't care because they don't yeah. have to be nice to you. You know what I mean? I feel like like so many of them just abuse that. I don't know. It's a pain in the ass. They don't take yeah. your feelings into concert, man. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They gotta it, take that shit into concert, man. They and, should. And yeah, it's, it's just I I really again it, I was quite bothered by it today. I I really dislike that because I, like you said, it's not a client, but just but we're paying for you. I mean, you work for the it's government. True. Like this is what my, I'm my, paying for. Yeah, so my I, tax dollars paying for your ass, right? Like I, I feel deserve something more. Like yeah. you know, at least you know, help me out or. Someone explained to me, like, why are people... But again, I can't be like, oh, what are you guys doing standing around for? Because then <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> some, like, uh, suddenly I'm the There's bad some, guy. Some, some service here. <laughs> yeah, right? And then, you know, then I get my, throw, my, my ass thrown back to Mexico, like, you know, and, and, and I've yeah. never been, so... <laughs> uh, so, but, yeah, that, that, that's about it. But here we are. We made... We made it. We made it. We're okay. We made it. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Um, what, oh, man, what... What, what have I to? been up to, man? This whole last month has been kind of crazy. This. This is honestly like, yeah. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like much, but coming no. in here, dude, I would have to be. I was just like, oh, the fuck no, dude, this is a lot. Man. And like, I, this is not the first, like, you know, uh, like position-wise, right. the first layout mm -hmm. that it was. Like, originally there was gonna be two of us on each side of the table, and looking at those, it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Then it, you know, I, you know, it went through many revisions before I landed on this. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, other than the room and the setup that I've already talked about, uh, I just finished watching Mindhunter on Netflix. Mm. I just binged the shit out of it. Dude, that show is fucking insanely good. It's oh. really good. If you're into, like, true crime and, um, you know, like, serial killers and you have that morbid curiosity like I do. Like, I have, like, this morbid is this fascination. Is one of those, like, it's, like, a, based on real shit? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So it's really... Okay. It's, so it's, like, a, it's a Netflix original series. It's uh, 10 episodes. And it's... Uh, Produced by David Fincher. Mm. Oh, that one. Yeah, okay, and yeah, uh, yeah. he also directs four of the episodes. And David yeah. Fincher is like one of my favorite directors. Like he's done like you know uh, Fight Club mm -hmm. and Seven and yeah. mm -hmm. Benjamin Button, Social Network, all that stuff. Um, so he's like one of my favorite directors, making like a TV series on a subject I'm really interested in. So it was just like Murder. so many things where I'm just like Murder. <laughs> <laughs> serial killer stuff. <dog. laughs> it's just like I like just true crime and stuff. Mm. Um, so it was just like the perfect kind of like I don't know. It, it just spoke to me. You know, it was, I was really interested in watching it. And sure enough, it's like really fucking good. Like, watch this shit. I'm just like, <laughs> I was with it. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I want to watch this. And I, I got uh, my girlfriend to watch it too, and she was surprisingly really into it as well. So, Mind Hunter, check that shit out. So we'll check that out. In and then fucking crazy. So you see like people coming up with like. Yeah, well, I mean, plans? it's no, no, no. Well, it, it's about uh, so it's it's a true crime, but it follows like you know a uh, you know themed TV show, but it follows like two FBI agents. Um, in the 70s, when, you know, there was a lot of serial killers mm -hmm. around in the 70s for whatever fucking reason. Because they could get away with shit they, more. they could get away with shit, exactly. Yeah, we didn't have the technology. <laughs> but this was this was how they established, like, you know, they, so it's about two FBI agents who go around and interview convicted killers, um, you know, like in prison, and start to build, like, a psychological profile of these people, because it was never done before, and it was really controversial at the time. Um, and, you know, using, like, their insight and, you know, delving into their minds to help catch active killers Holy so shit. it's really really interesting stuff hmm. um it's fucking nuts. other than that 
So <laughs> sorry. That's fucking nuts. Keep it PG. There. God damn, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So, so a few weeks ago, so when we were doing the five year, um, the five year special podcast, we were watching Harley the dog, Harley the doggo. Bless his heart. And he's, you know, he's a great dog. I love that dog. I was, I, I love watching him. You know, I feel bad when I have to go into work because he's here by himself. Um, but uh, one of the nights, it was, I think like the last few nights where I, I had to watch him, I was like a Friday night, and um, it's about twelve thirty. It's late. I'm tired, so I go and I, I, I'm about to crawl into bed. You know, Chriselle's already there, passed out, but but Harley, the dog, is with her, but he's he's anxious. He clearly wants to go outside. It's like, all right. And, you know, Chriselle is passed out. I think he wants to go outside. And really, <laughs> what she's trying to say is, take him outside. <laughs> she wants me to do it. Mm-hmm. So so I was like, okay, fine. So I go, I, I take Harley, the dog. And we've done we've done it dozens of times before. I don't put him on a leash. It's, you know, it's a backyard. There's fences. It's fine, right? <clears throat> and so, uh, you know, I let Harley out. It's dark. We have, you know, it's, it's a big backyard that we have and it's, you know, you can't really see a whole lot. So, so he goes and he does his business and I'm out there with my, with my camera light, right? Trying to find his business and his shit. And, um, you know, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. And I, I hear probably the worst thing that you could possibly hear. The predator sound? I just hear like, a, <laughs> I just hear like <laughs> this, like, <laughs> this like, <laughs> and it's shit sounded straight up. Like it sounded like the grapefruit technique. It sounded fucking. <laughs> up if you guys know what that sounds like and um i'm just like oh shit i turn and i look and harley the doggo is getting attacked oh. by two fat fucking raccoons Dang. they and wanted these, to eat him dude these were big boys <laughs> and they and harley the dog not a big dog man yeah. he was not winning this fight he was not going to win this fight and i was just like i was frozen for like two seconds i'm just like oh fuck <laughs> and i ran over right <laughs> so i'm running and so there's one raccoon kind of on, on standby, ready to tag in, right? <laughs> and this other big fucking fat raccoon is on top of Harley, right? He's on like two legs and he's attacking and, they, uh, and they're all biting and shit, right? And Harley's trying to defend himself. He's doing his best, but he's a small dog. He's an old dog, isn't he? Yeah, and he's old. Yeah, he's probably like 10, right? Um. And I boot this fucking raccoon, dude. <laughs> I punted the shit out of this <laughs> raccoon, and you know it was on two legs, right? And so it was you on two it right legs. In the chest? I know. I skated right in the in the side, dude. And this raccoon cartwheels. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking raccoon cartwheels, man. <laughs> I'm dead serious. This is a true story. It looks so funny. Man. <laughs> and like I felt bad. Like I like raccoons. Yeah, I don't want to oh, kick yeah, a raccoon. No, man. I, I don't want to kick any animals. But I did what I had to you do, got, man. You protect this, family, man. This, this, yo. Know, they were gonna kill this dog, yeah. right? And so then the other, ra- so the other raccoon, wh- after the other one cartwheeled, um, goes in. It starts attacking Harley, dude. What? Yeah. What the? He's fuck? like, all right, he's out. Yeah, I'm what it. did Harley do? <laughs> there, there's territory. We were thinking maybe there was like raccoon like babies around oh. or something because there's right, two yeah. fatsos, so maybe there was like a family. I don't know. Um, two fatsos. fatsos. <laughs> they were they were big raccoons, Fatty. man. Um, and, and so then I kicked the shit out of this one. <laughs> oh my God. So I literally, I, what else am I going to do? I, I did, shout I did, at it, dude. Pull shout out. Stop it. Dude, pull out the hose. Hose <laughs> them down. <laughs> okay, Harley, you're right, right there. Side, yeah. I'm going to go grab the hose. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so then, then no joke. So the other raccoon that I first kicked, it, boom, it turns to me. Oh my God. And, it, and it's, and it's low to the ground, Right. And oh, its back is all arched, and it's all, it's all rah, 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 rah. right. I'm just like, oh. And so, this, you did, so you did the same. <laughs> Get on the floor. Rah, rah, rah. And I'm just like, oh fuck, right? And like, and and so and Harley. In the meantime, since both both the raccoons were off of him, he books it. He books it, and he heads towards uh, between the house and the fence, and he heads towards the street. Oh no. Right. And so I'm just like, oh shit. And so, but luckily, that's kind of like that was probably the best case scenario because. Really, I wanted to get them separated, right? Mm-hmm. Like, what else? The raccoons, like, I would have preferred they, them to scurry off. But so, so Harley runs towards the street, and then it was right over, like, if you guys know where, like, the house, there's like a, there's a little, like, the little narrow, pat, like, walkway between the, yeah. the fence and the side of the house. Mm-hmm. And so Harley took off down there, and uh, the raccoon was staring me down right in between where Harley was taken off. So I had to get around him, <laughs> right? <laughs> So I, I, I just bunny hop by like <laughs> this <laughs> raccoon while it's staring at me. I was like, oh, fuck. So I run. I jump over it and I take off after Harley. 
and and the raccoons, I guess they scurry off and shit. But man, this all happened probably like this this whole series of events was probably like 20 25 30 seconds, right? But shit was like in slow mo for me, man. Yeah, shit yeah. was insane. Yeah. So was, and I eventually catch up with Harley and he, I felt so bad, man, cuz he's an old dog. Yeah. He was spooked as hell. You know, and he was like he was so scared when I was trying to get him. He was running away from me, right? Cuz cuz you know, I don't know. He was just mm-hmm. insanely scared. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I eventually caught him, like, down the street. Like, I had to go probably, like, a, you know, half a block or so. And it's a long block, right? <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I pick him up, and he's still all scared, and he's bleeding, and I felt Aww. really bad. Like, he wasn't bleeding, like, a lot, but he was, you know, he, he, he had, had some scratches. He had some yeah. scratches, and he was bleeding a little bit. And so we you know, brought him back in. And just my adrenaline was pumping, man, because afterwards I was like, holy shit, I'm really tired all of a sudden. <laughs> You ever get that feeling where you yeah. do something where yeah. like your adrenaline pumps and as soon as it wears out, you feel it yeah. immediately. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess hilarious. I'm just like really yeah. out of shape because I ran like half a block. <laughs> it's a long block, though. <laughs> it's a very long. It's a long block. All right. Man, that block ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny because while all of this was happening, like it was really loud. Right. You would hear all you, you would hear it all and you would hear me going, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. And Chriselle. Comes running out of the house after, like, I already booted the raccoons and they have taken off. And she, you know, she wears glasses and she's really blind without them. So she comes running out of the house, can't see shit. She's barefoot. She almost trips over shit. <laughs> oh, my God. And she's like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a sight to behold. Oh, man. And, uh, yeah, man. So moral of the story is I saved Harley the dog's life. I'm very proud of it. I tweeted about it the next day. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All this like and, No, no. no and, the first thing Barry, he, he messages me, yo, did you get video of you punting the raccoon dog? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I wish I did. Yeah, someone do us a favor. and Someone animate this over to <laughs> yeah. tell us storytelling, and I mean, I'd love to see that. It was, you know, it was probably, it was one of those, you know, it was one of those things where it's like, I'm glad I didn't, you know, I, st- I didn't fucking puss out. You know what I mean? I kicked the raccoon. Yeah. Some people would be too scared to intervene. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, Chriselle yeah. was saying, like, Oh man, if it was me out there, I don't, I wouldn't know what to do. I'm just like, no, fuck that. I'll take this uh, raccoon out. Yeah, yeah, it's I, a fucking animal. Man. <laughs> I, I mean, I love, I love animals. I love, love raccoons. But yeah, I mean, if a raccoon starts fronting on my pet, it's just like, it's like, what's the worst that could happen? It, it's got rabies and it bites yeah. you. But it's like, it, you, you can take care of that shit these days. You know? Well, yeah. well, as soon as you get rabies, though, it's it's 100 fatal. It, oh. Like in in like dogs and stuff. I mean, like for oh, you, yeah. for for, for you. me, for, for you. me, you're kicking oh. it and you oh, accidentally yeah, getting fine. bit or some shit. You get yeah. rabies, you get like what plus plus two damage or something. <laughs> <laughs> you get disease damage plus yeah. two. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, you take the two times more damage. Because uh, <laughs> it's a debuff. Yeah, yeah it's a debuff uh, and a buff. <laughs> um. Anyways, what was I saying? Because no, but no, yeah. Harley the dog was caught up with his shots and whatever, and we like, we we're like, what should we do? We phoned the vets, like the emergency, like pet hospital, right? Mm-hmm. And like, what the fuck do we do? And you know, he was all up to date, so he's fine. He didn't need stitches or anything. But yeah, man, it was a crazy story. That is crazy. It was, it was one of the craziest thirty seconds of my life. Oh. You know, th- this whole time I thought the way the story was gonna end is you running, getting Harley, coming home, only to find the raccoons like tied up, like Chriselle, <laughs> and be like, <laughs> "All right, now you gonna we give got, us, a, we give got us the girl. dog. <laughs> you give us the dog. You get your girl." <laughs> now bitch <laughs> <laughs> you, you think you're smart kicking my Trust my buddy yours, motherfucker. Kicking, kicking my homie in the ribs <laughs> it's too bad man because every like you gotta be doing cut was like an asshole you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know i subscribe to reddit you know r slash trash pandas man you know i like raccoons man i don't want to kick a raccoon i kick the shit out of that first one because i had a running start so <laughs> See that the, the raccoon's Twitter account. It's like, yo, man, you you sucker punch me, man. He's, he's weak. Yo, the raccoon in the hospital's got like yeah. broken ribs and shit, taking selfies. <laughs> Just got kicked by a motherfucker. <laughs> yo, man, come come see me, man. Come see me in the light. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> That's Have you guys ever had like encounters with raccoons? Cause we got a lot, like I we got like anything like that. Really? Uh, well, probably not mm-hmm. on that level, but like in this area, especially like we live in like the, the suburbs in the burbs. They're just always humping. That's, That's true. That's like what I see. Right? <laughs> what? They're just always in the corner. I remember. Yeah. I, I I think it was you yeah, or something. You, yeah. you, you called me over real over tell there's two raccoons having sex in the backyard. <laughs> I was like, what? And you look over by the shed and yeah. like the far corner there's two raccoons. It was like yeah. daylight. And, <laughs> they're, <laughs> and they're looking right at they're us. They're looking dude, right at us. And they're still going at it. <laughs> 
Because, you know, they're nocturnal. Eye contact. They're everybody. nocturnal. That's their nighttime, yeah. man. They're yeah. getting, they're getting yeah. down to business. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was raccoons, and we have skunks in this area, yeah. too. Yeah, there's a lot of skunks mm. here. A lot of skunks. Like, I've I've almost gotten sprayed, like, a couple times. That's but, scary. I don't know. I've, I've never had a skunk raise his tail at me. Yeah. Really? You, no, I've you never. You bathe in tomato juice to get the smell out. Will that, like, get it, all of it, or are you stuck with the smell for a little bit? No, I haven't been sprayed. Oh, I've never been sprayed either. That's, the, that's the, the theory. That's what they say. Bathe in tomato juice. I mean, I've seen that episode of Rugrats, you know? Yeah, 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 <laughs> they yeah. put Chucky in the Chucky, bathtub, yeah. dude. Yeah. Um, but, I, yeah. I, like, the time I almost got sprayed, I was on my way to work, and uh, I started super early. It was, like, 5 a.m. Because uh, this is back when I worked at Best Buy. We opened, I was, you know, part of their merch team. We opened at, like, 6 um well we started at like six so I was, I was on my way and i was walking past a a garbage can and there was i guess just on the other side of the garbage can was a fucking skunk and i was so f- close to it that it was, and i was like ah <laughs> and i like jumped i guess that startled it mm. so it it immediately whoosh, did a 180 mm. and aimed and i swear my life flashed before my eyes <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're looking down the barrel of a gun like, you don't no. want to see that shit because oh, <laughs> you imagine if you get sprayed yeah. Yeah. i don't know I uh, once I I walked into this like apartment complex, and uh, this was was in California, and uh, and it was it, it was like dusk and uh, yeah, dusk is nighttime. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> trying to remember. It's like anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It was it was getting dark. It was getting From dark. Dusk was to happen. The sun was setting. Uh, the sun was setting. Thank you. Anyways, but yeah, and I was I was about to like walk to the right, like because it was like you know go left, go right. I was gonna go right. And I don't know why I look down. <laughs> the storytelling, dude. <laughs> I was gonna go right. I don't know why right, but right. So I was gonna go left and then right. Well, the point. The point is, I look down and there was two skunks that was about to step on. Oh, and like, oh shit! God. Yeah, and Were I they like baby skunks. Well, I don't know. They were, they look normal size to me, but okay. I just didn't. I didn't see them. Like, and I look and I'm just like, oh crap! And then once I realized their presence, they realized mine. But then one, like, yeah, same, like, just tail shot up, and the other one was, I guess, just kind of, I don't know what he was thinking, but I was just like, oh, okay, forget this, a complex. <laughs> so I just <laughs> left, didn't return, I was like, done. Nice. Yeah. It's the building's fault, man. Yeah, it's the building's fault, man. So, uh, yeah, so that that was that. But other, yeah, I mean, I've encountered... I don't say I've encountered anything crazy. I mean, I've seen possums up close. Possum? I've possums. never seen a possum. I've seen them before. I don't think I've... No, possums or badgers? In, oh, okay. In California. Yeah. I mean, two-day driving. I, didn't, I I told Damien, I was like, yo, like, either that's a big rat or that's a small <laughs> possum. Because <laughs> it was just like on the side of the street, just like roadkill. In California. Oh, it was roadkill. Yeah, oh. this was today. This was today, like in Washington <laughs> oh, State. Uh, I remember, yeah. like, me and Lou would have... <laughs> 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 we'd have this fucking odd going, like, not even joke, but... Every time we would talk, we would always somehow spot a piece of roadkill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a period of time where it was like yeah. consistent. <laughs> no, I, like, yeah, literally yeah, every yeah. single time we would have like, we were really just like, and it was just like a sixth sense. You would just be walking on the down the street. Then just for some reason you would just look to the right and there'd be a fucking dead animal right there. <laughs> <laughs> was my sixth sense? Yeah, ben knows all about my sixth sense. Man. So in, in high school, uh, that, that's where Lou and I met. And, uh, I would train. There's there's a public transportation. There's a train that I would always take. But Lou, he'd always convince me. He's like, yo, just walk with me, man. Just walk with me. And so I would because, you know, we, we'd always have a blast. But, yeah, quickly I found out that, like, <laughs> he, he kind of, he kind of, it's a sit sense. It follows him around, but, dude. But unlike the sit sense, it's like a phobia, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a phobia, but it, it, it just upset. I mean, Luke could explain it better, but it seems to upset him in, in every way possible. <laughs> so there's definitely be times where, you know, he'd just run across the street. He wouldn't say a word. He'd run across <laughs> the street. And I and I immediately know, I immediately know there's roadkill. I'm like, where is it? <laughs> you know, and then I'd spot it. And then, you know, he'd take the safe way. And, uh, oh. and, and I'd take a long way around, around yeah, the dead yeah. thing. So, dead animals but, just fucking follow but, you around. I don't know what it is. For those, I mean, it's so I, funny. I distinctly remember at least, maybe it was many times, but one time it was like there was no words. It was just like running. Just like, just, <laughs> Just yeah, gone, yeah, just yeah. gone, not, like nothing else, and it's just like just um, immediately know yeah. what it is. But but then I I, I knew I was just like okay yeah I I know what happened I just don't know where it happened. I'm better about it now like yeah like back then like I'd see something I'd just be like no can't deal with it so I'm I'm like out of there. But nowadays I'm just like oh fuck <laughs> I just walk past it. But yeah I don't know like it, it just like you know I'd be walking down the street and it's just like I'd get this feeling and it's like 
And I, I swear, if I look to my left right now, there's going to be a dead animal there. And of course, <laughs> I look, and it's, it's, I don't know what it is, man. It's just crazy. What do you see a lot of, like, 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 no, it's like dead rats, rats and birds? Yeah, and, rats, you know. birds. Oh, oh. Yeah. The, the, dude, this smells sometimes in like a hot summer day. Yeah, oh. There's nothing disgusting. like it. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah. I don't know how we got onto this topic of roadkill. Well, you, you brought it up. <laughs> you, you, well, you well, know, the possum, the dead possum. Yeah, so. well, well, because, because of you and your experiences and me being around it, a couple of years ago, <laughs> like during the summers, like I, I started seeing a lot of like dead animals around. <laughs> and... And <laughs> yeah, he did pass it's, like it follows, it's contagious, man. You start, oh, but but like for me, follow, for me, it's dude. the opposite because I, I think there's a certain beauty about it. So I started like snapping. What? They're just they just I've seen a few photos. Yeah, yeah you, like, I showed on Instagram. You like, used to yeah. take pics, what? yeah, of all these check, dead you animals. You can check it on my Instagram. Don't like, check uh, out this Instagram. Th- like like I totally like took pictures and they're they're like one of my favorites was just like this <laughs> oh big this big bird like was just like had big I guess bird, face planted <laughs> like it, it seemed because it, it was just like you face d- down. Do you like, face... big bird like that, dude? <laughs> this bird that was like face take it down, into like, man. Like, have some like, like like butt up and just like cr- like head just cracked into the pavement like it, it wasn't gory or anything but that was probably it looked like a face it, it was probably yeah, like mid flight and then yeah, just like it, had it a heart like attack it. or some shit <laughs> and, and yeah like maybe uh, but yeah so you, I mean you could check that out if you want I, I, I haven't seen any I haven't seen anything recently but mind you I'm like I'm on set what so is this what's your Twitter uh, Instagram handle Instagram uh, Thorn Cushion yeah you could check me out there Thorn, thorn with an E yeah Thorn with an E Cushion and uh, there, again, there's not as many. Your number now. one source for dead. <laughs> yeah, for dead. Again, it's it's been lacking for a Just couple like months. A taxidermy account, like there's some funky shit on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, dude, I hate taxidermy. It's like, so yeah. gross. Yeah. It's like whoa. That's yeah. really gross. Because yeah. then you could always tell they always look fucked up. Yeah. yeah. No. And taxidermy's been around for a long time. You think they would have perfected the art by now? Nope. There's no. An, I mean, you know, there's. I saw it like I was browsing this one page, and I was like, damn. <laughs> Why? Why are you looking at Why? that? I, like, I don't know how I came across it, but it's just like a, a taxidermy. And I was looking, and I was just like curious, <laughs> right? I was just, like, holy shit. Like, this is why you're cursed. The type of shit that they have to deal with, right? And I was just kind of curious. I was just looking. But then there was some, like, ones that I actually made that looked really, like, really? good. You know, uh, obviously there's a lot of shitty ones that uh, like end up being well, memes, yeah. but like <laughs> like the fox. Well, yeah, the fox. No, yeah. <laughs> there's always that <laughs> fox. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I mean, Damien loves that stuff. She what? she she Whoa. legit looks up crappy taxidermy because it just cracks oh. her up. But like, yeah, some of the stuff just scares me. I'm just like, ah, oh, no, that's messed up. Yeah. No, freaking thank freaking you. animals, man. Yeah, Those raccoons. Top tier podcast is first. <laughs> first top tier podcast back. Dead animals, taxidermy. That shit's gross. I don't like it. <laughs> um, thanks for the, <laughs> yeah. thanks for the email, Hayachi. <laughs> that was one email. <laughs> That's this week. That was one. What the freak, you guys? What the freak? Honestly. <laughs> what the. Freak? And we have we had a lot of people write in just uh, with some nice, nice kind comments. Oh. This one is from Mochi for the win. Mochi for she, the win. She, my dude, I'm excited. I'm so excited that the podcast is back. Looking forward to that shit. My mangs. What? I saw My mangs. My mangs. Uh, <clears throat> I saw your post on Facebook. <laughs> and I'm just saying hi, and I'll definitely be sharing the podcast with everyone I know. I'm hyped as fuck. Woo! Oh. We are hyped as well. Thanks for writing in. We got... Uh, you know, I, I don't know what you guys... I'm sure you are, but yeah, I was hyped about this. I uh, was every, too. Every, yeah. Every, yeah, I think we were all... Pretty hyped. I mean, and again, we mentioned it. We, I mean, this, n- this is probably this is what's gonna allow me to see you guys. Cause I, I mean, for so long I haven't. Yeah, me too. Really didn't see, see you guys, and it's like I want to keep in touch, but it's just not happening. Till the holidays. Now you keep gotta, in touch. I watch yeah, videos. Yeah. It's not exactly keeping in touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What yeah, exactly. if one of these videos? I just be like, hey, Whitney, <laughs> don't really <laughs> fuck with you. <laughs> no, don't. Please. I watch sometimes those videos at night. This is a message from <laughs> Chef Sanji six two nine. Chef Sanji. What? I think I'm pronouncing that properly. Chef like, as in the chef? chef. Well, it's all it one word. Maybe it's Chef, chef Sanji. Okay. Chef well, what would you s- Well, yeah, Chef Sanji sounds about right. <clears throat> you a chef? <laughs> Use a chef. Ma- make a, a chef, chef Sanji. <laughs> Use a chef. <laughs> are you are you still 128 years old? It's 29, dude. 20, are you still 29? <laughs> Good. To- <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good to see you guys back. It's been years. Don't know if any of you remember me, but I called slash emailed questions all the time, and I'm a longtime Bear subscriber. Keep the videos coming, Jew bag. Well, now. <laughs> this is why I'm glad to He's be back. He's a Bear subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really loving the Evil Within 2 Let's Play. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey. I, I plan on becoming a patron. 
I just got to get signed up or whatever. Take my money and welcome back. Bless you, dog. Yeah, thanks, dude. P.S. Is it gay if we fap together? What? We don't touch or anything. Love Chef Sanji. It's frequently asked. Of course, one of Bear's was subscribers what? asked fap. this. Fap. Fan art. Well, well, you know, well, we also love to fap. That's yeah, we, we yeah, want. We, we, we love to feature audience participation. That's, that's right. Yeah, that, that's what on it is. the show. Which yes. is a br- <laughs> which, by the way, is a brilliant fucking acronym. I, I think it's great. <laughs> Some good shit. <clears throat> Hey guys, it's your pal Antonio. Oh, Antonio! Hey, represent. <laughs> was hooked when episode one came out, and I'm so glad y'all are back again. Sometimes I'll see you guys on my League or Steam friends list, and I just have flashbacks to watching this podcast every single week. Y'all started during my first year of high school, and now I'm in my second year of college. Damn, Damn that's, God. that's such a trip. And y'all, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with questions, so I'll ask... As a sequel to my Do You Shampoo Your Poob Pubes question. Your poobs. <laughs> your poobs. Your poobs. Yeah. On, I'm, I'm, doing read, my best, dude. I'm doing my best here. Okay. <laughs> question from January 2013. So he sent in the Do You Shampoo Your Pubes yeah, question. Legendary. <clears throat> yeah. uh, so the sequel to that question is Do You Shave Your Ass Hair? <laughs> it's it's funny that watching, I was actually watched that clip of the question. Do you shave your pubes? Like Because you put a, you like. Oh, it was, it was, it was, uh, right yeah, on. it was yeah, a clip yeah. highlight. Yeah, and yeah. I was just like, the other day, I was just like, because I was excited to do this again. I was just watching a bunch of like clips from, <laughs> right, from right. the page. And I saw that one, and that's why it was just funny <laughs> that they brought that up. Um, but, anyways, I, I, I don't shave my butt hairs. <laughs> no, you know, I, I never have, but it's like, I don't know, man. I, I don't think I need to <laughs> if it ever gets really dank down there. You know, you get that fucking swamp you ass. Get like I guess. Tail <laughs> you got like a tail, dog. How do get a tail? If it becomes yeah, the, an issue. The, the moon comes out and Ritao becomes a monkey. <clears throat> just, I don't know if it would feel weird, you know, just like completely clean from like, you know, all up in the grundle. And it's like, I don't How know. How would you do that? The grundle? Just... <laughs> the grundle. How the grundle you... is the is the trench between, you know, <laughs> the you... balls and the asshole. How do you... <laughs> you gotta go to I think specialist you'd have to get, you get that shit waxed if you're going to do it. Oh, oh. How painful that would be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear the ass ain't that bad. I hear the pubage is pretty bad but here the butthole is is not as Wait, bad so they put a strip on your asshole and then they rip it off i don't know i don't wax i guess that's how you wax i mean you should know you girl do you wax? that's I don't pretty wax sexist my butthole. i take that well, back well not your butthole but <laughs> <laughs> i do not i wax, mean no. people wax their legs i mean i imagine I it's the same procedure before. that shit fucking okay. hurts yeah. you wax your arms I used to, yeah, because Kimi Salon, I can go in and she would just mm. do it. Have you guys me. ever waxed anything? Did people make fun no, of you? No, no. I never have. Yeah. Is that why you wax it? Or when I was younger, they I did. They say you had hairy arms? They did. So I got really... <laughs> they did. And you I, took it look, to heart? I did. What like, kind of shit would they say? Rough. They'd be like, oh, your arms are really fucking hairy. Just <laughs> 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 Like, like, actually. Yeah. I was, like, thinking more like, <laughs> did they have, like, a nickname for you, like, Hairy Arms Whitney or something? Yeah, <laughs> you know what it was? But it's like, oh, your hair's a fucking hairy. <laughs> no, like, I kid you not. It would be like that. And it'd be this, like, um, when I went to high school, we had a lot of Koreans. A lot of Korean dudes. Uh, and so, you know, fucking Koreans don't have fucking hair. No, they don't. So they'd be like, oh, your arms are really hairy for a girl. I'm just like... Fucking <laughs> hairy! So I, I shave them off, and I they, that's so messed up. Did they just stay that way? Cause you have like nothing. Well, I shaved it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Are you trying to pull it? <laughs> There's nothing. That's so, <laughs> that's it's so crazy though. Kids though. I mean, yeah. It's I like, wish I never <laughs> did, cause now yeah. I have to do it all the time, cause. Like, Fuck, man. <laughs> you're pretty hairy you're for a girl. It's like, been. yeah, you're, you're pretty hairless for a dude. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I didn't know. I was Yeah, nice. but of course, I mean. Can't beat up everything. Yeah, you know? I mean, shit. Anyways, I, I hope that answers your question, Antonio. <laughs> Don't wax my asshole, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for coming. We'll, we'll, we'll just leave. Oh, we got a long one. This is a wall of text. All right. Can you, do you need I'll someone do else text. to read that? <laughs> no, fuck you. you know, I can read <laughs> You're one of these days, I'm just getting you to read, and we'll see how you do. I read that one time, and it was these, fine. These are not, I've no read offense the to our before. audience. I've no offense to our before. audience, but it's not like a proper, you know, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Let's just say they're not proofreading. <laughs> these guys don't have English majors, okay? <laughs> what if they do? They're not proofreading. If any of our... They just don't give a shit with their email. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> hey, Rattel. The name's Ryan, and I'm a longtime fan and day one listener dating back to the mm. Toshio days. <laughs> Toshio. Toshio. This is my oh, first yeah. time writing in. Damn. And hopefully will not be my last. When I saw the announcement of the top tier podcast being revived, I flipped my shit and knew I had to finally write in for once. I unfortunately missed my opportunity to write in for the five-year reunion special, which made me pretty sad. However, I saw the revival announcement. It was like being given a second chance. <laughs> I just want to say thank you, Rattel. 
and each member of the top tier podcast listening to your guys' stories advice thoughts future plans and all the inside jokes has helped me so much over my four years in college i listen to the podcast on my commute to school during breaks in between classes and back home um and that really got me through my days I started listening to you guys in college freshman year, and now I'm graduated from university Ooh, and currently wow. working a full-time salary job. Congrats, Dang, man. Congrats. I am so glad the podcast is back for good and am eager to tune in every week. I hope it stays indefinitely. Me too, man. That's the plan. Yeah. I, I spent a lot of money on this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Something's got to get Just like <laughs> Next week, sorry, Tali. We can't, we can't make it. <laughs> uh, sadly, I cannot make it. Here's my question. How did the revival of the podcast come about? Was it a group decision? Before the podcast ended years ago, you all said that your schedules got incredibly busy. Has this changed for everyone? Will Boris and Tarek make an appearance in future episodes? Hope this email wasn't too long to read and pray that you didn't butcher reading this retell. <laughs> we just know you so well. Keep being oh, illiterate. Man. Peace out. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we have the best fans. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are the best. Um, how, did, how did the revival of the podcast come about? So, I posed I, I I basically posed the question after we did the five year special, I mean that's that's kind of it yeah. in a nutshell, and um, and everyone was I was very surprised everyone was surprisingly like enthusiastic to come back like even like Billy who yeah. we, unfortunately yeah. benched this episode <laughs> yeah. yeah like Billy was fully right ready and yeah. prepared to be on today that was pretty messed up. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm just, Billy, know, just ignore him. Be on next if you're listening, just ignore him. Ne- next, next year, next, next, yeah. you'll be on next episode. Next next, no, not next episode because we're, we're recording that one after this. Hey. He'll be on in a couple episodes. You guys see him in a couple weeks. Um, Billy just sitting on the bench right now. <laughs> He's keeping that shit warm, yeah. right? <laughs> He's got that biggest booty, dude. Warmer, man. <laughs> 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 you're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> you're not wrong. Oh. <laughs> and. Uh, you guys, well, when the podcast ended years ago, we all it was because our schedules were incredibly busy. Has this changed for everyone? Um, well, I mean, yes and no. I feel like I feel like where our schedules are still busy, but they're a bit more stable and consistent. Like when we ended the show, we were in like our early twenties. We're now in our late twenties. Like, well, we are. Why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> you're a baby. I'm not a baby. I'm no fetus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is a fetus can as a baby? It's a fetus. A fetus is a fetus. Yeah. Well, I think. I'm no fetus. Stand by that. <laughs> but, I mean, that's a whole completely different. I'm in my early twenties. Like, a fetus. Yeah. Well, that's a controversy. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a, a lot of people will have different okay, yeah. views on what, if, yeah, if a well, fetus is a baby or not. Yeah. But if it was a baby, it'd be called a baby. This is I mean, true. That's just my point. So like, name-wise, no name name no one's wise. ever gone up to a baby and said, "Oh, what a cute fetus." <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Just like name-wise and what you call it. Well, that's not true. You when you get when you get the mammograms, that's that would be the fetus, and some people are like, "Oh, it's so cute." But yeah, but it, it is a fetus at that point. It's not a born yeah. baby. Yeah. Well, I'm just you said they wouldn't. They'd never call a, a fetus cute. It was a, no, I said they would never call a baby a fetus. A, a born oh. baby a fetus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I hear yeah. And but I mean, at the same time, I've heard people call fetuses babies. Yeah. No one says. Fun. No one says. <laughs> yeah. When's the no, when's the fetus due? They say when's the baby due. You know what I mean? <laughs> when's the yeah, fetus? Yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah anyway. <laughs> okay. We get don't don't bring up fetuses again, people. <laughs> anyway, don't uh, don't bring it up. Um, I think. Well, for me, I think. Uh, I'm. St- I'm st- I'd say it's still pretty busy. It's just I think right. I'm just better at managing my time. Right. And just yeah, like, yeah. planning ahead and. Uh, if I can help it, and obviously with Ben and ours, like with our industry, like shit is always last minute. But like, yeah. just to the best of my ability, I've just been like planning and making sure, I, like, I have stuff. Like, I have a calendar now that I yeah. use, you know. So just like things like that, just make makes life easier. And like, I I feel like our new format, doing it every two weeks, yeah. and we're the fact that we're not doing it live. You know, before it was like, oh, you have that stress mm-hmm. and that pressure. Fuck, we got to go on every Thursday, yeah. seven o'clock. Yeah. You know, it was. It was hard. I, I felt bad for you guys because you guys had to travel here, right? Um, well, so far, man. Here. It's, <laughs> it's rough. Here. It's rough. I used to block, uh, walk two blocks away from Mattel. <laughs> and you would still be late, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lived here. Yeah. Yeah. Santa, but I mean, yeah. you know, so and, and, you know, and everyone's schedules were a lot more erratic. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like when we ended the, you know, we put the podcast on Hayes, I think it was the right thing to do at the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, but And I feel like Bring it back now is also the right thing to do. Yes. So I don't Agreed. know. All, all in all, I'm 
I'm pretty pretty stoked. I I, I do want to put it out there. I wanna I wanna say that we are busier. I mean maybe I mean I I'm I'm it, pretty fucking busy. I, to I be mean, honest. Like I mean my yeah. But I have a stable schedule. That's the only thing. The, mm. I mean the, exactly the the only really for me it's just like okay Saturdays and Sundays I always have those off. Right. While the, when I was in security it's just yeah it, 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 I could have been working a Saturday. That's or that's the thing. Or, right, yeah. or third so. But. And we're, yeah, we're all freaking busy. <laughs> the thing on this <laughs> format is like, if we couldn't do it today, then no, we could have done it Thursday or Friday yeah. or Saturday. We can do it tomorrow. Like, you know, the the format definitely helps. It does. Yeah. Um, th- uh, thanks for the uh, the message, Ryan, aka Paper Flame. I recognize your name. Paper Flame. Um, here's a picture on my Instagram. Damn. Let's see. All right, people sending pics. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sending pics. It's Wait. basically this. Oh, damn. This was from season four, four. League of Legends, when we were all playing a top tier oh. podcast what? game. Oh, my goodness. And he was he, he got in one of them. He probably bodied us. Oh, mm. damn. Do you remember this stream, Lou? We had a dual cam setup going. Yeah, I do remember that. I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Those are some good times, man. Like, I remember. I remember. Very cool. When we had that set up, how did I have the webcam hooked up all the way over to your computer? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but it's somewhere. Because I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. Uh, Ryan, thanks for the thanks for the email, man. And uh, who else we got? Yeah, nice memories. So much positive feedback. It's nice. It's nice. It, it is a bit nice. mind blowing. I mean, I know. I, I, I always nice. think like, cause at work, you know, people ask me like, "Oh, what are you gonna do?" And I'm just like, "Oh, well." This and that, the podcast, and people are always just like, "Oh, really? Like, what? What do you? What are you doing?" And then, and yeah, and it's like, I didn't think it was like such a big deal, but mm-hmm. then, but again, you do have a legit setup, like you've always have, and it's, well, and it's great. Well, let's talk. It. <laughs> it's, it's pretty this, good, though. I mean, no, all things you considered, go, you watched our old shit. It was, yeah, it got yeah. by on the quality of our content, yeah. like our commentary. You know what I mean? Yeah. The the setup was never the highlight. We were never yeah. the most. We were never the best produced show. You know what I mean? And now, I think you know, and that would turn off like mm-hmm. for a new like yeah. listener or new viewer to the show. That's a huge yeah. turn off yeah. If, yeah. If, yeah. if if it looks like shit, if it sounds like shit. Yeah. So that's why you know you break down that barrier, and all of a sudden now it just comes. You know, the important part is okay. Let's just produce a good fucking show. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we can just focus on that. And I guess that's what's crazy about about it all, just the community that, like all you people out there, because I love, we all love hearing from you guys and seeing what's up with you and, and just to know there's people there, you know, saying like from day one, yeah. you know, I've been listening or, you know, being hyped about coming to this. It's just like. It, it blows my mind. Yeah, because it's, you go back and you listen to those early episodes. They were bad, dude. I'm just like, <laughs> oh man, you guys stuck with it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, and it's like the top tier community is not very big. So, you know, tell your friends, share. <laughs> <laughs> tell um, your friends. But, about but the, the charming part about it, it's always been, you know, the community's always been so involved and so active and so passionate. It's tight. And yeah. so it's awesome. And, uh, you know, it's almost kind of nice having it not to be yeah. too big and too crazy because so many people who write in, like, these emails, like, I recognize the names yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's awesome. Anyways, if you guys do want to send in emails, um, send them into toptierpodcast at gmail.com. I think we're going to wrap it up for uh, today's episode. episode 68. Yeah. This has been episode 68. 68. Thank you so much for Concerge. watching. Concerge. Concerge. Yeah. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the show and uh, consider concerge <laughs> sharing it on Facebook. No, I didn't use and it. Right, commenting. Did I? Yeah, no, it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. Sharing it on Facebook, taking it into concerge. Yeah, there, <laughs> there you go. go. Like, there you go. subscribe, <laughs> comment. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Bye. Don't you up.